This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Nafine. Welcome back to Nafine Automation Labs. So I hope you can see me now. So uh, very good news. Selenium 4 is there. It's already in uh, available on the Maven repository. They haven't announced officially on their website because on their website uh, it's still uh, 3.14159. But on Maven repository, you can see that uh, uh, the version 4 is available. And the latest version you can see, uh, this is the version you can see that of uh, 4.0 alpha 1. So the last version was 3.141.59. And now you can check this Maven repository and uh, 4.0 in alpha. Alpha means it's still in trial version. Once it is uh, properly, all the bugs are fixed and uh, on the basis of the user experience number of bugs are coming in the future they will fix it and then they will keep releasing the stable version so i would still advise you guys that okay don't use this 4.0 as of now i would advise you still be on with your uh, 3.141.59 there are some major changes with respect to the backend apis how exactly they are interacting with the <clears throat> you know with the browsers they have removed so many things they have added a couple of things but don't worry it won't impact your uh, okay it won't impact your existing code that whatever the framework that you have developed with the help of selenium 2 or 3 it won't okay disturb that so it is backward compatible also so don't worry about that so whatever uh, i actually observe couple of things i actually saw their changes their documentation and everything so if you remember i created one video also and <clears throat> i mean uh, four five months back i think yeah six months back what are the different new things are coming in Selenium 4? So most of the things I think they have implemented, but I, even I need to check what are the different things in how exactly the backend APIs are working and all those things. So, so this is the um, uh, documentation because it is W3C recommendation. Can you see that? So this is W3C recommendation. They have uh, released according to that, which is actually missing earlier very poor documentation with respect to web driver now this is w3's recommendation documentation is available because now it's so popular widely used with different companies in the world so it is very much compulsory to provide a w3c recommendation documentation and everything how exactly their apis so this is a very design i would say design document api level documentation they have provided what exactly selenium how exactly it is uh, implemented what are different protocols capabilities different uh, uh, navigation apis or all the different apis they have written over there so if you see that how to create a new session so now they have given the proper <clears throat> okay this is the post call earlier it was missing if you remember so right we haven't seen any proper documentation how exactly a new session is getting created whenever we are writing web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and all so that's why they have given the proper documentation for each and every API, internal API. So it's not compulsory to learn these APIs, guys. You can ignore these things. Like, let's say I give you an example how exactly Navigate 2. So Navigate 2 is again a post call where you just need to pass the session ID and the URL. So internally, it will hit the post call. If you know at least some basics of backend APIs and then the URL you have to pass as a string and then it will complete uh, remote steps are available, how exactly uh, this api will work internally on the browser okay so all these steps you can check if you really want to know how exactly selenium is working internally so it's up to you so similarly they have given a lot of uh, documentation they will keep improving this documentation so so far they have given most of the things over there element retrieval also located strategies they have given how exactly css selector is working how exactly link text is working how exactly uh, tag name xpath is working see for xpath also they have given the complete information that how exactly selenium is you know identifying the element on the basis of expert and all such stuff so i'm not covering all these things similarly see find element is working on the basis of post call so this is the post call and you just need to pass the session id and which element you are passing so you just need to pass the element over there like this so uh, you know through back end they have to pass this particular body and then on the basis of that okay um, element will be found it will return a web element something like this same thing for find elements also they have given number of elements you have to pass uh, okay maybe in the form of json body internally it will catch whatever the locator that you are passing and on the basis of that it will find number of elements so i'm not covering all these things guys just basic basic important things see just for click 
we have another post call and then dot click is available you just need to pass the session session id element and element id and then click method you have to pass in the back end so obviously we are not going to okay call these apis because we are using selenium on front end we are using selenium wrappers which are already available on top of these apis so we don't need to take care about all these apis but how exactly they're interacting with respect to browser there are a lot of changes they have done a lot of unnecessary things they have removed and a lot of uh, deprecated things they have already removed from their code base so if you see uh, this is the let me show you one thing you just search this uh, selenium hq selenium and changes.md you just go to their selenium web driver changes md file and here you will see that uh, 4.0 alpha 1 is available and they have explained now uh, what are the different very technical very depth level they have explained what are the different things they have implemented uh, how exactly w3c uh, web driver compliances um, uh, they have implemented now and some new features and methods also they have added like if you if i can give you some examples that first line they have written they have removed the support for opera and phantom js okay and phantom js as a web driver implementation they have removed it opera now you cannot do that because for opera what exactly they say that user should be able to simply rely on testing chrome as the opera browser is based on chromium yes this is absolutely fine and the opera driver was a thin wrapper around chrome driver so if you're working on chrome driver so you can make sure that okay opera is also working fine but opera driver is not available according to them according to their documentation Similarly, for Phantom JS, uh, users should use Chrome or Firefox in headless mode. So Phantom JS they have removed because earlier, obviously, Fan developer of Phantom JS is not releasing uh, any uh, releases in the market from last two years. So Phantom JS support is gone now. Now they are making it W3C compliances and complete uh, web driver specification means the documentation is available over here. There are uh, some major changes they have uh, done as according to their documentation they have added one more method driver dot switch to dot parent frame whatever the parent frame is available go to the parent frame so let's see we have parent nested frames are available we have parent then child then child and you are available in the child frame and if you directly move to the parent frame you can directly move over there so this is the method you can check by your own okay all window manipulation methods are now supported all window manipulation methods I, even i need to check what are different manipulation methods they have added we will check it and uh, different to cookies and all basic things they have like uh, replace web, web element dot get size now web element get location with a single method we have web element dot get rect okay so this method we have to explore you can explore guys and these are the back end changes there are so many back end changes guys you can see that there are so many additional things and so many uh, unnecessary things they have removed you can see that they have removed these okay phantom js events actions module they have removed but don't i mean not action classes live actions module live events module unnecessary remove the opera module completely they have removed okay for promise and chai for uh, javascript also they have done a lot of changes over there so you i'm not going with the details guys but there are major changes with respect to okay selenium 4 but it won't impact your existing thing changes to web driver uh, window uh, get rec they have added set rec they have added full screen minimize so extra these two methods also they have added now right and uh, they have removed these uh, get position set position get size set size like this so this these are the guys major changes and with respect to uh, uh, mocha guys which are uh, used which is used for the javascript framework uh, just like testng uh, now they are saying that okay since the promise manager they have removed it is no longer necessary to wrap the mocha uh, test hooks so now directly a user can use all these described before each and all those things so i'm not going into details but selenium 4 is available now so I'll, let's do one thing let's give a demo i mean we will do one thing we will create one maven project and uh, and uh, let's see how exactly it is working or not at least we are able to launch the we are able to launch the browser or not so let's try that so i'll go to file and create a new project so we will create a simple maven project and click on next click on next click on next so let's see i'm giving test selenium for uh, demo okay 
same artifact ID, let's say I'm giving and click on finish. Cool, so here you will see test Selenium 4 demo got created. I'll directly go to its pom.xml file and uh, in pom.xml file, I'll remove this J unit library. I don't need that. And I'll simply add my Selenium 4 dependency. So for Selenium 4 dependency, I have already shown you you just need to go to Maven uh, repository. I'll provide all these links, their Maven repository link, their documentation, their API documentation also. I'll provide all these three, four links in the description of this video. So you can check it over there. So simple, I'll just uh, copy this dependency guys. We have already seen this uh, such kind of thing so many times. I'll copy this and then paste it over there. Right, and the moment I save it, it should start downloading Selenium 4. So Okay, let me do that. Um, I'm just going to delete these dummy packages. We don't need them. Same thing in SRC main Java also. I don't need this dummy sample uh, package. And if you go to Maven dependency, now you can see, see all the Selenium 4 jar files are available, right? Can you see that? So now there is no Selenium 3. Everything is Selenium 4 alpha. Okay, alpha 1 dot jar. So maybe in future alpha 2, 3 dot jar or maybe 4 dot 1 will be released. I don't know, but let's see it is working or not. So I'll do one thing. I'll create a, a package. Let's see my package name is test demo. And under this particular package. Sorry. Yeah. And I create a class. Let's see uh, uh, the driver or oh, let's see selenium 4 test class right select the main method and click on finish so we will see first without adding the system property I'm simple checking web driver interface is available or not so let's see I'm writing driver is equal to new Chrome driver and it should give you an option to import so it means yes import is there it means selenium 4 having this web driver interface same thing for Chrome driver also. Yes, it is available. And now without adding the system property, let's see it is working or not. So yes, let's see. So this is not working. It's give you no such file or directory or after some time, it will give you some exception like this because it's not, it is not able to find your exe file. So what I have to do, I have to add the .exe file just like Chrome driver that we used to do that earlier with Selenium 3 also. So I'll do one thing that uh, <clears throat> I'll first add the system property. See now it's giving the error timeout exception, something like this process existed, uh, exited with an error seven, some 27, 127, something like this timeout for driver server to start. It means we could not start the server. So we will add system dot set property. And the property name is uh, web driver dot Chrome dot driver and the value is available that is chrome driver.exe file is already available in my system so i'll go to my downloads and I'll ch check uh, 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 just a minute chrome 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 okay i'll do one thing i'll take it from some different project so the path i'll just quickly take it just a minute okay i'll take from here this is a property i'll take it yeah Okay, I'll just simple copy paste. Right, so this is the property I have added and a new Chrome driver we are launching and let's see Google Chrome is getting launched or not. So yes, perfect. Chrome is getting launched. Nice. And we will see that other basic methods are working fine. Driver dot. Okay, get and then HTTP colon www dot google.com right and then we will print the title driver dot get title and now let's run it so yes chrome is getting launched and yeah perfectly google is being launched and then it's printing the title also perfect and here in the console you can see that same this is a session ID got generated and I'm using 2.46, 2.46 Chrome driver.exe file on my Mac machine. And yes, on this particular port, it got started. So perfectly fine. 
So don't worry about that, guys. You can do one thing in your existing framework, whatever the Selenium 3, just add this dependency Selenium 4 and then check your entire framework is working fine or not. If any changes are there or any <clears throat> problems are there, you can report the bug on there, okay, on their Git and uh, on their, yeah, on their GitHub, you can raise the bug over there. Okay, so this is the thing that what we are getting. But uh, still, I would advise you don't, uh, you know, you for practice point of view, just for checking, you can use it, you can check it, but don't start implementing the framework directly. Let it be stable. I still feel that, okay, because this is just alpha. Once they declare that, okay, hey, yes, it's available. Because if you see on seleniumhq.org, see, if you go to seleniumhq.org, this is HQ, this is the official site. On you go to download page, still it's 3.141. Can you see that? There is no information about Selenium 4, right? So I just check their Maven because I daily I keep checking their Maven repository. What is happening? What is happening? Because I always check their uh, GitHub also. How many see if you see the developers, the contributors are Simon Stewart. Obviously, he's the owner. You know, everyone knows he's a founder of okay Selenium. So this guy is the owner, and this is his team and they are contributing towards this. this is, they are all the committers committer mean they are committing the code and all those things okay but let's see let them announce selenium about selenium 4 officially on their site and then we will start using it still it's in alpha mode but if you really want to try <clears throat> you can have a look over there and you can read this documentation as well okay same thing you can try with some other like uh, firefox also you can try and as i told you right driver dot uh, just a minute driver dot switch sorry switch to dot <clears throat> can you see that parent frame is available now this is a new method that they have implemented parent frame okay so it will move to the uh, you know if you are available inside the child frame it will move to the parent frame so this method i think uh, now a really useful method they have added so we will keep exploring i'll also keep exploring selenium 4 i'll keep adding the values uh, videos for you guys don't worry about that but nothing to worry it won't there is no spatial learning that okay you have to do with respect to selenium 4 everything 99 percent things will remain same only how exactly internally it is working those things will be different those things we will find out how exactly uh, the backend apis and apis are interacting with the browser and phantom js generally we don't use it opera also very rare i never use opera so you guys also can ignore it so for us, it's it's not a major thing, right? But it's a very good news. It's a game changing now. All the people they are talking about scriptless automation, RPA, UI path, and all those things. Now, guys, Selenium 4 is there. This is the future of automation, right? Again, Selenium 4 is back. So we were all worried that okay, why it's been around more than yeah, they we were like waiting since 2018 December. Four five months is already gone. So they should have released it but now it's coming and then it's a game changing cool so thank you so much guys i just quickly i wanted to update you about selenium 4 you can have a look you can check on their uh, repositories and everything and keep an eye on selenium 4 okay thank you guys bye bye